I'll just put the screw back on so I don't lose the, the nut, I mean. So there's the wheel. So it's a nice six inch, six inch wheel. Pretty heavy duty. Okay. So I'm just gonna use uh, another one of these ones that I first used. It's the dual core and 12 foot long pieces of cable. Or oh, sorry, not your dual insulation with one, one stack of cores. So, and we'll get our trusty drill. And I think it's best to have it just on um, speed one rather than speed two. We'll see how it works. Okay, now because the cordless doesn't have a, a automatic trigger, I've got to hold the trigger on. Well, if that worked, that was as easy as it gets. come out a little bit here wow that, that was awesome I loved it hopefully I got it deep enough well we got the first one for sure oh yes look at that 12 foot of this all the way oh. well that was exactly what I was hoping it would do it was uh, fast effortless and so easy it was certainly a lot easier than cranking the handle wow all the way clean clean insulation beautiful copper wire another 12 foot of pure copper cable into the collection look at that just awesome and for crafty people want to do copper wrapping and uh, crafts this wire would be really good for arts and crafts and big lengths of it would be awesome all right well really impressed with uh, the drill in that case and um, definitely only need uh, speed one speed two would be just a little bit too too powerful um, i think the only thing left is for a real heavy gauge wire okay now i don't think this is going to be um, good enough for the drill I might have to do it by hand but I'm hoping okay we've got some really heavy duty thick stuff here it's got uh, five different cores of uh, wire in there and it's also it's uh, quite thick insulation and I've got about seven or eight foot of this length so obviously I want to split this and get out all these different cores so we'll leave, we'll do this one as the last one for this uh wire stripper test let's give it a go Oh wow. Okay. I felt that. So I you I went down to the next one. I think I used just the first one was just too big of a slot. So can imagine what 
size copper cable this would get. But here we go. And look at that. It's got all this paper, tape, obviously got the insulation, so all this, and I'm glad that this paper didn't get, sorry, um, yeah, I'm glad this paper didn't get tangled up in the actual machine, so that's all done, beautiful. And what we're left with is five beautiful pieces of copper wire, Still got a strand of this paper stuff in there. Sorry about the angles. I just can't see whether I'm in the camera. But, um, okay. So we've made a start here. Beautiful. Look at that. That's as quick as it go. Now, and that was probably, yeah, because I put it in the smaller one, it did cut through some of the insulation. So I didn't have to go that... I didn't have to actually uh, adjust the height, but it's all trial and error, you know, so I could have uh, released it back two and a half and uh, left it at that. Wow. So there you go. Awesome. And that's it, just a cordless drill.